number one, uh, LeBron James is in scoring in this series and up and down. Right. Uh, but the NBA stepped into it when they did this, and so now they have people complaining. The Warriors are upset, and they have a right to be. It should not have happened. So, to a degree, Jim, you're kind of feeding into the to the uh, uh, skeptics or not skeptics. Let's say conspiracy theorists who say that this kind of stuff is no. actually orchestrated. It's done deliberately because, to your point, everyone's going to make a whole lot more money now. I don't say deliberately, but it should not have happened. There's an error of judgment here in suspending him. Uh, I don't believe it's rigged. I mean, I think that's farcical. It's not rigged, uh, but they got a bad whistle last night, and they got a horrible break in, in the suspension uh, of Draymond Green. It should not have happened, and that's what's fueling this. It then fuels and leads to conspiracy theories and to the type of thing that Mrs. Curry said. Right. That's what's fueling this. It's the actions of the NBA. It's not the actions of the players on the court. It's, it's these coincidences, if you want to put that in quotes, that's leading to it. All right, coincidences, I will. But Jim, real quick before we go, we know that these refs are humans, and, and they understand and look at the tape, and when they mess up, often what we've seen in sports is that they'll come back and maybe overdo it for the other team. In other words, could we see the, on Sunday the Warriors with something of, of a ref, referee advantage? Well, now you're buying into that theory. <laughs> no, uh, look, I'm just you, saying they, as, as a human, <laughs> human knee-jerk reaction. <laughs> the home team always has an advantage because it is intimidating to be in front of 20,000 people who are hollering and screaming. That's why it's a home court advantage. That's why now the Warriors are a four-and-a-half or a five-point favorite after they've looked terrible in these last two games. Look, they've got to make baskets. If they play the way that they've played, they'll win the game. If LeBron James and, the, and Kyrie Irving play the way they've played the last two games, we're going to be in for a barn burner, and, and the Cavaliers might win this. The one thing that you'll have to say about all of this is, is that the NBA now is front and center, right. and the referee should go away. There shouldn't be any question as to who wins the game. Right. Let them play, and whoever wins, wins. All right, Jim Gray, you are the best, my man. I'll talk to you again real soon.